The Ostendo email services is an exciting part of the Ostendo framework. It allows you to automatically email out ticket actions, system alerts, calendar reminders and the like. You can automatically receive emails from customers and suppliers which are then auto assigned to customers or suppliers based on the originating email address. You can receive emails from Ostendo related to ticket actions, system alerts, history notes and the like and even action them by email. You can request queries and the result will be emailed back to you embedded in an email. You can request and process forms via spreadsheets in the emails and you can automatically email a sales delivery advice against a customer. There are many more functions possible with email services such as running reports and defined schedules and much much more. There is some setup required for the email services to work. We suggest you get Progressive Business Technologies consultants to help you with this. Let's have a look at these email service functions. With Ostendo email services, you can automatically receive emails from customers and suppliers, and then they are auto assigned to them based on the originating email addresses. I'll demonstrate how an email is auto assigned to a customer. As you can see here in Azure Products Customer, there is an email address sales at pbt.net.au. Let's now go and send an email. The email that I'm sending this to is one that is created as part of setup. Typically this would be admin at pbt or something similar. Let's now go back into the operations centre and see the result of this email in the activity listing. If we refresh the listing, the email is now displayed in the activity list. Let's have a look in the display icon over here. If we click on show images, it shows the images and you can see that the email is displayed in HTML format. You can also reply to the email from within Ostendo. If you receive an email from a customer whose email is not recorded in Ostendo, it will go into unassigned emails. They will sit in this listing ready for you to assign them to the appropriate customer when you see fit. With Ostendo email services, you can automatically email out ticket action system alerts, calendar reminders and the like. I'll demonstrate an example of how you can order email an action to an employee. Let's open a call ticket and assign an action to a person. In this instance, I'll assign an, it to myself. And I will click the order email button. If I go back to Outlook, I will have received an email with that ticket in it. From this email, you can add notes to the action in Ostendo or even complete the job. Um, what I'll demonstrate to you now is how we can do both of these tasks at the same time. So if I click reply, um, my first job is to type in that this task is done. And secondly, I can update some notes. And these will go into the action history notes. Let's go back into the operation centre and look at that action and see the result. Let's now open that call ticket and go to that action and you can see that the action history has been updated and secondly the tick box has been checked to say that this task has been complete. With Ostendo email services you're able to run a pre-designed query and have the result automatically formatted and returned in the body of the email. I'll demonstrate an example of how you can request a query about a job order. To do this, we type in query job in the subject line with the job number and send the email. An email is returned and as you can see in the body of the email are the job lines. With Ostendo email services, you can email files by simply attaching a file to an email. This can be handy if you want to send emails from site. For example, you may need to take a photo of a damaged item and send it back attached to a job. So what I'll demonstrate to you is how we can attach a file from an email to a job in Ostendo. So in the subject line you type in file, job and the job number. We then attach the file that you want to send and send that item. Let's now go into Ostendo and see the result of that email.
As you can see, there's now a customer email here with an attachment, and we can click on that attachment and it'll open that document. This concludes the email services portion of this demonstration.